So if that's not how you want to open your hood on your Mercedes Sprinter van using this strut rod, I have a solution for you. So if you're like me and you don't like hoods that you have to prop open, um, there are several solutions out there and uh, we're getting ready to do an easy conversion on our 2024 Sprinter van that's using Agile Off-Roads uh, hood kit that now lets your Sprinter hood open like most normal car hoods do with shocks. So if this is something you're interested in, please stick around for the video. All right, so the kit um, is pretty simple. It has two hood shocks, two lower mounts, and then ball mounts that replace where the hood strut is now, and some basic hardware, some Loctite uh, to make sure things don't back out. And uh, that's really it. It's pretty super, it's pretty simple. You know, all we're doing is basically going to be putting a ball mount right here. Another one right there. We're going to take this fender nut out and put a ball mount down a bracket with a have a ball mount down there. Same on this side. And then we're just connecting the two hood struts here and here. And that's it. It's pretty simple um, and it makes it so much nicer to open the hood up that way and not have to rely on that strut. All right, so uh, the first step you gotta do is prop the hood open. I just use a long clamp that goes right up in there. They make hood support things. I don't have it. So the first step is we gotta take this rod off because we need access to this port. And then we'll take, there are two sizes of these, one's long and one short. And then there's a bushing that is gonna go into that hole to kind of take up the space. And we're gonna go ahead and mount those first. So let's get that rod off. This should just pop right out. Just like that. So we're gonna take this, this is a 13 millimeter nut and it has a 13 millimeter collar. Put a little thread locker. And the ball goes to the inside. And we're gonna take our 13 millimeter socket and our wrench and just tighten it down. Actually, I need two 13 millimeter wrenches. Two 13 millimeter wrenches. All right, same on the other side. The bushing will slide in. Thread locker. All right, super easy. So you can see, here's the ball stud. Here's that collar that goes into the boss on a thing. Not Same on the other side. Pretty simple, pretty easy. All right, the next step is we're gonna take off that 10 millimeter bolt and then that's where our bracket is gonna go. All right, so we just took that off and then I pre-assembled the bracket. So the bracket comes with a short stud, again, washer, Loctite, nut. Now this is going to face to the inside of the hood. So it sets like that. And that way your strut is in alignment from here to here. And so that's the same on the other side. So we're gonna put those in real fast and uh, we should almost be done. We're gonna, so the, the kit comes with extra, an extra nut, but I think we're just gonna reuse the factory uh, stuff. All right, here is 
everything installed. So the bracket's facing to the inside. Ball mount, ball mount. Same on the other side. Ball mount, ball mount. All we have left now is to put on the struts. And uh, so this is the easy part, really. Uh, well, it's all been kind of easy, which is what makes this kit so great, is these just basically snap on. So we're gonna take the, the large end and just, it snaps on just like that. We're gonna do the same on the passenger side. So we're gonna take off our little support bracket, lift this up so that it's all the way, and then you just push it on. And there you go. See how nice and high this sits? So when you're up in here, with with that rod, you're really bouncing up against the top of that. But now this is nice and easy. Super simple, we'll pull the latch one more time. Awesome. So, like I said, they make these kits uh, from a couple different places. I just bought ours from Agile Off-Road. Um, I like their products. It got here quick and this, I mean, it took 15 minutes. Great addition for those of you who actually do your own work or if you ever need to get under the hood to have the extra height clearance um, really makes a difference and it is just a seamless install. So hope you got something from the video. See how easy it is to install this very simple kit. It's a hundred bucks and uh, I think it really makes a good, uh, good addition to the van. So, with that being said, uh, we'll see you next time with our next um, addition to the van. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you later.